Wayne, we are live. We're live? Yeah, we're live now. What, what was I not told? Yeah, Wilfred Gene is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been told. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, a bit of fun. Bit of fun. No. Wayne Marl in the Netherlands after Body Dome, I think. In the Netherlands back. But not for exhibition. How difficult is this for you? Right, honestly, uh, people won't believe this. This is the first tournament. Uh, I've not an exhibition tournament, a proper tournament that I've played since uh, 2011. And I've got to say, I've never been so nervous in my life. I, I was always kind of in control back in the day, even though I looked out of control. Uh, I don't feel in control at all. The nerves are just uh, never felt so so much of them. Uh, but I'm I'm enjoying it and I'm, I'm getting there. I lost my first game. I won my next two. Uh, I'm in a couple of 180s and throwing some good darts, but there's so many bad darts. It's so different to just an exhibition. So different, where I don't feel pressure. Today has been, uh, it's been a learning curve and I'm 50 years of age and I'm still learning. I was speaking to Colin and Steve before and the uh, feeling nice that you feel pressure again and the, and the age enjoying it that you feel pressure. Look, I, I love, I love, the, the competition but I gotta say I'm I'm not enjoying the, the, the pressure. I'm not enjoying it at all. I'm I'm living with it today and I'm learning again, which is why I said you, you live and learn, but I I really wanna do more of this to to kind of in a way learn something about what I can handle. I used to handle it all the time. There was never a there was never a pressure. It was you, you create it in your own mind and that's what I've done today. I've made it I've made it really difficult today, but like I said, some good darts, some bad, but the pressure needs to just go because uh, otherwise my head's going to explode. Then the next question, commentator Chris Mason is coming back on the seniors tour. Modus tour, do you want the seniors tour? Do you want to play on the seniors tour? Uh, no, I do not. No, uh, Chris Mason is a, a better player than I am now. He's never really kind of stopped playing. He played Super League for a long time, which is great in in uh, the UK and he's played a few other events. Like I said, this is my first event ever uh, in, in 11 years and I can't hack it. I don't want to hack it. But what I do want to do, I do want to play a few more to learn how good, uh, to learn, yeah, just to learn a bit about myself basically because I don't deal with stress very well and I want to deal with it better. Look, if I can play, Chris played amazing in, in the last event and so did Mark Dubridge and so did a few of the others. Uh, I would love to play uh, like that on a regular basis. Uh, I played earlier, I, I went out in like 13 darts, 15 darts, 16, but I can't do it all the time. So for me, it's about learning a, just a bit about myself, basically. Is it possible with Sky on your work? Uh, I, I don't really want to play the seniors, to be fair. And I'll tell you what, this, this rain, I don't know if you can notice this, this rain is so we, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> it's so welcome. And we don't want anything to get wet. Look, I, I don't want to play the seniors. I, I just don't think I'm in... Uh, I'm Dart-wise, I'm not in the best shape. So I'd rather commentate on the world's best rather than play them. We're going to take Federer inside. Yeah, we're yeah. going, we're going. Yeah. Used to. Then we got to Modus. You speak not about of Modus. What do you think of the Modus Super Series? Look, I think it's fantastic. I think... Uh, out of all the, the rubbish things that have come out of uh, the coronavirus, Modus was one of the best things. I think it's been fantastic for, for darts players on the way up and darts players on the way down out of the tour trying to get back on it. Uh, there was no negatives for me. The more competitive darts that players are, are able to play in, I think it's brilliant. And I'll tell you what, I, I, I would love to see... Uh, it get bigger and bigger. How that's uh, possible, I don't know. They know, they know, because they run a they run a great ship. But I think Modus has been magnificent for darts. What do you think on the the ADC tour? Is that a, a win or a lose for darts? With the way they have to run the other side. Yeah, I, I got to say, I don't I don't know the ins and outs of the the ADC. But I was, I'm kind of a little disappointed with the WDF. They've 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 not run with the ball, and I think they've allowed the the uh, the other organisations, whoever they may be, kind of uh, tread on their toes. But the, the WDF for me, with the World Championships, they've got they've got the basis of, of a good tour there. Uh, the the ADC, uh, I can't comment. I, I don't know. I really don't know. So, but like I said just just moments ago, the more competitive darts for all the players, the better. So there's 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 nothing to kind of 
uh, knock from one to the other. It's just we can't have so many conflicting against each other. Let, let's just let's just kind of get a load of players playing in a load of events. Whoever it's for, it's for. Just we need the players to enjoy the game. And the politics, I couldn't care less. Then we take a view on Lakeside. Do you enjoy Lakeside now in in this format? No, I, I, I go I go to Lakeside every year. I go and watch. When it was at the uh, the O2 in London for a couple of years, I went and watched there. Uh, I'm, I'm a Dart fan, first and foremost. Yes, I happen to have played. Yes, I happen to be a commentator on Sky Sports. But I just I, I enjoy the game and I want to see people achieve. Uh, if there's if there's two world champions, which which there is now, so be it. it it's the way it is. But uh, I, I just I just want people to be able to compete, and at the moment they're allowed to do so. There is a lot of darts. Can we see on people like Danny van Tripe, Scott Williams, that it's difficult to go on the tour and then play uh, not so much as he de he done, and then you play only the player championships and small local tournaments. Is that difficult? Uh, no, it's not difficult, and I don't mean this as uh, as blunt as it's going to sound, but Barry Earn has always said it's a meritocracy. If you're good enough, you'll play in the big events, you'll play on tour. You've got to be good enough. There's there's no point in saying, oh, I don't get a chance to play there and everywhere. If you're one of the elite in the world, you will play on the PDC Pro Tour. And there's no there's no kind of getting around that. There's no skirting around that. You just need to be one of the best. And... and like the, the players you mentioned, I've seen them play. They're, they're great, but they've got, to be, they've got to be better more often, which is the players on tour, which is what they do. That's why they're on tour. So it, it's quite simple, really. Be better more often. Then you are exclusive for Sky, or you do want to do some more commentator work? I, I, I do what I want to do. I'm, I'm, I'm quite lazy. I want to hardly work, not work hard, right? That, that's my mantra. Uh, but look, if, if I get a chance to, to work for, for another broadcaster, then, then so be it. But I really... Mervyn King's just tried to gatecrush the... Uh, Are you really going to stop in? <laughs> Go on, Merv. Yeah. Me? No, not me. No, no, honestly. <laughs> I just want to. Oh, sorry. I just want some cold air. <laughs> cold sorry, air. Uh, am I pushed in? It's very sorry. warm in here. It's very warm in here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, look, I'm. I do what I do for Sky and that's it and I commentate on the world's best and we happen to be standing next to one of them.